Hi everyone, in this video we are going to prove R2 is a complete matrix space with a matrix D where it is Euclidean distance. Okay, so this thing we have to prove. So first of all, tell me when we say the matrix space is complete. In last video, we have already seen if every Cauchy sequence is convergent, then we say the matrix space is complete. So here also we have to prove it is complete. That means we have to prove every Cauchy sequence is convergent. Okay, in R2D. So let us take any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we will prove that it is convergent. Okay, so let us take one Cauchy sequence. So let Xn, I am calling it as Xn. So basically Xn is a Cauchy sequence in R2. R2 that means two components will be there. That means that sequence will look like this A and B n. Okay, so is uh, B a Cauchy sequence in R2D. Okay, so I have taken any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we have to prove that it is convergent. Okay, so let us take one epsilon. Here also I am going to use epsilon definition of Cauchy sequence and convergent sequence. So let us start with uh, one epsilon. So let epsilon greater than 0 be given. So we have a single information that Xn is Cauchy. Okay, so uh, we have Xn is Cauchy. Xn is Cauchy sequence. So we can use the definition of Cauchy sequence. The definition says for given epsilon greater than 0. Epsilon already we have. So let us use the same epsilon. So therefore for above epsilon greater than 0. Definition says for given epsilon there exists a natural number. Right. Okay. Such that. Such that. Uh, D of Xn Xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. By definition of Cauchy sequence, we got this one. But see, D is a Euclidean distance. So we can express in a form of norm also. So that is or therefore we can write norm Xn minus Xm less than epsilon. Okay, I should carry this condition. Okay, but uh, see, what is my Xn? My xn is n comma bn. So let us write this is n comma bn. So obviously xm will be m comma bm, right? Less than epsilon. So I should carry this condition till the end of uh, this statement, right? Let us go further. Uh, we can subtract component wise n minus m and bn minus bm. Let us do. Therefore, norm n minus m, right, and bn minus bm, less than epsilon. Okay, I should carry the condition, so simply I will mention copy paste. Okay, uh, see, we are familiar with the definition of norm. Norm definition of norm is square root of square of first component plus square of second component. So I can write here. So therefore, by definition of norm, square root of n minus m square plus bn minus bm square less than epsilon with this condition. To remove square root, I will take square root of both sides. Let us see what will happen. So n minus m square plus bn minus bm square less than epsilon square. So we are adding two squares. Squares that means obviously those are non-negative. We are adding them and their sum is also less than epsilon square. That means each of them is less than epsilon square. So therefore, the first one n minus m square less than epsilon square and bn minus bm square less than epsilon square with this condition, right? Now I will take square root, but see I am going to take positive square root. So that's why I supposed to write more there to show we are considering the positive square root. Epsilon is obviously non-negative it's greater than zero positive so that's why i should write uh, and see i should mention here for all n m greater than or equal to capital n and here also by taking positive square root b n b m less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n but see this is definition of converge uh, cauchy sequence this is definition of cauchy sequence in r mod is there no mod is there usual distance 
So that's why we can say that N is a Cauchy sequence in R and that BN is also Cauchy sequence in R since this is definition of Cauchy sequence in R with a usual distance. So therefore I can declare therefore N is Cauchy in R du. Du means usual distance mod A minus B same definition and BN is also it's Cauchy in R du. That means N and BN both are Cauchy sequence in R du. Oh, let us recall all these things. We started with this sequence Xn, which is a sequence in R2. So obviously two components are there. First component N, second component Bn. So in this way, we proved the first component is also Cauchy and the second component is also Cauchy. Okay. Those are Cauchy in R with usual distance. Getting? But see, we in last video, we have already seen every Cauchy sequence is convergent in R, usual distance. That means simply in last lecture, we have proved R with a usual distance is a complete matrix space. So that's why every Cauchy sequence is convergent. It means N is also convergent and BN is also convergent. So let us write all these things in details. Just make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. See, I have written those things here, but R du, okay, usual distance is a complete matrix space we, which we have already proved in last video. So therefore, every Cauchy sequence is convergent. Right now we have N and B N are con Cauchy, so that's why obviously these are convergent. So th that's why we got this one. See, these are convergent sequences. That means there will be some points. For those points, these sequences are converging. That means, say, let us write, say, say, N is convergent. That means it converges to some point A in R, right? And in R D, I should mention. And BN is also convergent and we are assuming it is converge, it is converging to B in R du, right? Yes. So N converges to A, BN converges to B. So this thing we have. So now let us use the definition of convergent sequences. Okay. What is the definition of convergent sequence? For given epsilon greater than zero, there exists N belongs to set of natural number such that mod usual distance. That's why I'm saying mod mod n minus a less than epsilon for all n m for all n greater than or equal to capital n, right? So let us use the definition of convergent sequence. What can we write? Therefore, for given epsilon, but see epsilon we have already assumed at the beginning of this solution. So let uh, let me write. Therefore, for above epsilon greater than zero, there exists n one, n two belongs to set of natural number. See for n we will get some natural number i am calling it as n1 and for bn we will have another natural number i am calling it as n2 okay simultaneously i am writing such that such that mod n minus a less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n1 right and for bn we will have n2 and mod bn minus b less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n2 but see, I need to do some adjustment. Okay, so I'm going to replace epsilon by epsilon by root two here also. Same. Epsilon means small positive real numbers. If you divide it by root two, again, it will denote the same meaning. So it is a small positive real number doesn't matter. Okay, it's just for adjustment. I'm doing this one. So let us call it as one and this is two. But now we have a huge problem that first statement or the first inequality is true for n one. And the second is true for n2. We have to use both inequalities simultaneously. So what will I do? I will take maximum of n1 and n2. Then for that n, for that natural number, both of them will be true. Okay. So let, let n0 is equal to maximum. Okay. Several times we have done such type of things. Okay. n1, n2. Then 1 and 2 will be true for this n0. Then 1 and 2 will be true for this n naught. Okay. So uh, let us recall what we have to prove exactly. We have to prove the mat given matrix space R2D is a complete. That means every Cauchy sequence is convergent. We started with Cauchy sequence Xn having components A and Bn, right? Having components A and Bn. Uh, yeah, we have to prove it is convergent. Okay. So we are... Uh, 
in at the last part now so now we will uh, prove that now we will prove that given sequence xn converges to point x which is equal to a comma b this thing i am going to prove okay so let us start consider consider in r2d in r2d so yes we have to prove that mod x uh, sorry d of xn comma x less than epsilon then we can say xn converges to x so i am starting with d of xn comma x right d is a euclidean distance okay so that's why we can write in this way norm xn minus x what is xn xn having two components n comma bn and x has two components again a comma b so we can subtract component wise n minus a b n minus b right so you are familiar with the definition of norm which is square root of square of first component plus square of second component right okay but see mod n minus a less than epsilon by root 2 so this inequality i can use here so this is less than square root of this is epsilon by root 2 but we have a square there so i should write square mod b n minus b less than epsilon by root 2 i am using that inequality there but see a uh, square is there so here also i should write epsilon by root 2 whole square and both are true for n greater than or equal to n not we have chosen that n not in this way so that's why 1 and 2 will be true for that n not let us take squares epsilon square root square of root 2 is 2 plus epsilon square by 2 i hope it is visible to you so root epsilon square by 2 plus epsilon square by 2 you will have epsilon square okay it's my epsilon now huh? let me write it here again square square root cancel we will get epsilon so finally we proved d of xn comma x less than epsilon yes we got the definition of convergent sequence that's why we can say xn converges to x which is a comma b so let us conclude just make a screenshot of it first so let us write therefore therefore d of xn comma x we got this is less than this is less than inequality strictly inequality we have got less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n not so this is definition of convergent sequence right so therefore xn converges to x in r2d so we started with cauchy sequence any arbitrary cauchy sequence we had taken and we proved it is convergent therefore every cauchy sequence is convergent in r2d therefore every cauchy sequence is convergent in r2d and this is definition of complete matrix space therefore r2d is complete so in this way we have completed this solution just make a screenshot of it then we will stop and we will meet in next video thank you see you